Hold up, microphone's tangled. There we go. All right, what up, Seahawk Chick? What up, Tyler Black? I'm going to borrow a line here from one of my favorite people, longtime bros, longtime rivals. You guys will know him as soon as I drop the line. What the fuck's up? Let's get some more people in here before I start this tournament off. How about that? Bad jams going on. Now, I'm going to also do a couple of, uh, well, maybe just one, I don't know, but I'm going to do a match or two after the tournament. Uh, Doll Baby asked me to do a second attire for her, so I'm going to be doing a match for her so she can take a look at that and tell me what she thinks of it, if she wants anything adjusted, this, that, and the third. Black bat pink toy box stash taco sauce seasoning Mexican pizza variety channel. How you doing? All right. I feel like that's good enough. Let me pull up this chat over here. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm going to share this link out real quick and we will be right to it. What up, John? Hashtag. Guys, give me just one second. Get to it, ladies and gents. Ha ha, fuck you, Blaze. I beat you. I beat you. Yes, 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 folks. We saw two weeks ago as four men earned their spots. We saw last night as the last four men earned their spots. Here are the eight men in this championship tournament, and here's how the brackets broke down. I used random.org to fill the slots, so that's how that came about. Tyson Parker, damn, I didn't even realize he's got scuzz up first. That's, that's, e. Let's get to it, ladies and gents. You're always happy because you're a bubbly individual, She-Hulk. And that's not a bad thing. We need more positive energy in this world. So stay happy and continue to put that energy out so other people can feed off of your happiness to find a measure of happiness within themselves. As you guys can see, this is Iron Man rules. This entire tournament will be fought under the same rules because the Lionheart Championship is an Iron Man title. Gav, what's going on? I shall have you tomorrow, depending on uh, 
whether or not Iron Horse has free time to get on and upload you. He said that he should be on tomorrow to do that. So I'm expecting it. Or I rather expecting a message from him saying that it has been done. So you, Gaff, Brunette Strangler, and Lexi Destiny will be the last additions to this roster for now. Once I get you three, I am not accepting any new people until the beginning of February. But making his way to the ring. Representing. Sadistic intent. He is known as Mr. Sexy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise for Scuzz. Not that kind of noise, crowd. Damn, y'all disrespectful. <laughs> In for one what's going on man your character was not downloaded and I'm gonna tell you why a fucking squirtle bro a squirtle a squirtle bro what a squirtle <laughs> Pitching the tent. <laughs> yeah, man, that character does not fit the, the build that I'm doing for this company. So I'm not going to download him. Making his way to the ring. Representing the Steel City Committee. He is none other than Tyson Parker. That's right, I said none other, baby. Protect your neck. The tenacious Tyson Parker is in the house, baby. For the record, Blastoise is one of my favorite Pokemon. I'm gonna throw that out there. But yeah, man, that character's way too cutesy to be in Malicious Intentions Wrestling. Ring the damn bell, ref! Scuzz wasted very little time here, but Tyson Parker showing he is not to be slept on in this match. A big overhead belly to belly suplex. Going for that vertical, but Scuzz quickly counters. And Tyson Parker's right back on the attack. Irish whipping him into the corner. Scuzz counters. Big elbow there from Tyson Parker. Setting him up. No, Scuzz throws him overhead. And that camel clutch slam. Big leg drop there, bringing that leg down across the throat of Tyson Parker. And the punches rain down. Tyson Parker, you shouldn't have did that dance before you started the match, bro. You asked for rain, and Scuzz brought it. Keg slam, tap that keg, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to get this party started. Cover, one, two, and only a two count for Scuzz.
He's looking for it. Stalking his prey. There's the setup. And he's got him up. There's the penny drop up power bomb. One, two. Only a two count there, ladies and gentlemen. Scuzz has got to be wondering how much fight is left in this man here. We've still got under 13 minutes. As long as you don't look like Kane, that'll be perfectly fine. Whatever the look is, I'll probably modify it just so that way he's more appropriate for what I'm going for here. Oh! Big Samoan drop there from Tyson Parker, and he's taking a second to get the fans behind him here, but they're showing him no love. Two clotheslines, and what we got here, bang, a big leaping clothesline in the corner. Ducks the clothesline, and another leaping clothesline to finish off that comeback. He's a house of fire right now. Scud is quickly countering, bringing that forearm down to the back right below the neck protect your neck baby he's got scuzz up look at the strength of this man yeah make them however you want I'll just make whatever modifications I, I think will be required for him to fit the bill here I won't do too much because I want him to stay within whatever you prefer him to look like since it is your character after all, I just want to make sure he, ha he represents the house of violence that is Malicious Intentions. Snapmare takedown, and there's that spinal tap. Just lifting him up, bringing him to a kneeling position. Big right hand to the face. And a vertical suplex. Tyson Parker looking to bring yet another title into the Steel City Committee. He's too close to the ropes there. That arm bar expertly applied, looking to take that keg slam away from Scuzz's arsenal. Big short arm clothesline. Going for the pin. One. And Tyson powers out. Clubbing him in the neck and then a knee to the side of the head. He's looking for it again, ladies and gents. Tap that keg. Keg slam delivered. And you already know there's a huge case of Takati in the back waiting on Scuzz. The kick of destiny connects from Tyson Parker. This one could be all over. One, two, uh, and Scuzz manages to get his shoulder up. Tyson Parker thought he had this one sealed. Not gonna lie, folks, I was right there with him for a second. Begging Scuzz to get to his feet now as he Fucking stalks him from the top rope and a huge uh, shoulder tackle. Went for a leg drop or an elbow drop. I'm not quite sure which one it was, but he kind of missed. Double underhook, suplex, followed by the arm bar. Will we see a tap out here? And Scuzz fights his way out of it. What a counter there from Tyson Parker dodging that kick and slamming him down with a power bomb. Son of a bitch. Who the fuck? Why? Why? Ah! I'm gonna kill that guy. One, two. Scuzz looking to take advantage of the distraction, but Tyson Parker not going for it. I bet you Frank has something to do with this. I'm gonna whoop Frank's ass. 
There's that arm bar again. Scuds fighting out of it one more time. Oh, jaw breaker. And the kick of destiny connects yet again. We are down to eight minutes left in this match. Cover. One, two, three. Tyson Parker picks up the first pinfall in this Iron Man match. Went for it again, but Scuzz had that one all mapped out. Big spine buster there. What's he got in mind? Oh, and a boot to the midsection. One, two, only a two count there for Scuzz. I wasn't expecting a three on that. Like, really? You think you're gonna put him away by stumping on his gut? What? Big right hand. Scuzz taking him down with that snapmare. Clubbing him in the side of the face. A kick to the spine. Went for that throat thrust, but Tyson Parker saw it coming a mile away. Huge standing drop kick taking Scuzz down. Like a prom date that drunk a little too much. One, and Scuzz powers out. Back body drop. Excellent counter there from Scuzz. And a jawbreaker one more time. The momentum just keeps swinging back and forth here like a pendulum. Military press slam. And he kicks him in the ribs. Stay down, Tyson. Kick to the midsection. And here we go again. Penny drop off. Power bomb. Great ring awareness there from Scuzz, dragging him away from the ropes before the pin. One, two, uh, no, not a three count. So close. Ah, I might have to kick this referee in the jump. It's counting a little too slow there. Face first into the mat goes Tyson Parker. Scuzz is in full control of this matchup right now, even though he still wouldn't fall down. Ha! Don't be too clumsy, Scuzz. Reverse DDT. Excellent counter there from Tyson Parker. Stumping away at the arm now. He's really looking to take those arms out of commission. And the kick of destiny. Cover. One. Two, and Scuzz getting that shoulder up. Tyson Parker looking a little furious. He's calling for it one more time. Protect your neck, baby. That kick of destiny is going to give Scuzz a concussion if this continues. Uno, dos, no tres. You got to try a bit harder, man. Snapmare takedown. Bengal TA, welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. And Scuzz powering his way out of Tyson Parker's grass. He's about to go for that keg slam yet again, but Tyson Parker just a little too quick. Cover after that hot shot, a two count, and he kicks out. Spinal tap. Scuzz, more pissed off than anything else. I feel unloved. <laughs> Quick counter from Tyson Parker. Excellent DDT there. Got him up on his shoulders, slamming him down hard, face first into the canvas. One, two, and Scuzz kicking out just before the three. We are nearing the three-minute marker, ladies and gents. 
He's calling for it again. Boom! The kick of destiny. Going for that cover and the referee said no, too close to the ropes. Just calculating, seeing what's it gonna take to keep this big man down. Short arm clothesline. Scuzz taking out the ref. He went for a senton, but nope. Tyson Parker rode out of the ring. Dragging him off the apron. Scuzz shoves him away with those boots. Tyson Parker giving him a dose of his own medicine. Welcome to the stream there, Griff. I meant to say that when I read your comment, but the shit was hitting the fan. Oh, dropping him. Crotch first onto that steel barricade. Yikes. You know, Alexa's not going to be too happy with that. And we're finally back in the ring here. Going for that pin attempt. One, two. Scuzz powering out. Safe to say this one is all but over as we draw closer to one minute. Tyson Parker with one fall up. He's got that hand around the throat. Keg slam. One, two, three, and we are all tied up here. Snapmare takedown from Scuzz. And he's wrenching away at that neck. We have one minute remaining in this matchup here. The score is tied. Somebody's gonna have to win in order for one of these men to move on into the next round. We got both men down here. That's how you know this has been one hell of a battle. One of you assholes get up. Tyson Parker, the fir first to show signs of life. Both men trying to get back to a standing position and Scuzz is the first on his feet. He's looking for it again. He's got him up and panty dropper power bomb. Dragging him away from the ropes. He might have just enough time to score another pin. One, two, no. Tyson Parker kicks out with 10 seconds left. Sweep the leg and we've got a draw. Nobody wins. Well, referee calling for a restart. If we don't have a winner, that's going to keep happening because this is a tournament. Oh, what a counter there from Tyson Parker. Working on that arm early. He's got that headlock locked in tight. Good old fashioned fashion chain wrestling. There we go, because I can't talk. Don't judge me. Irish whip. Telegraphing that big boot. And the Olympic slam. Good old flatulent. It's gonna say good old flashing, but I don't see no titties. So, yeah, about that. Oh! Devastating Death Valley driver. Dropping the knees right on the face. The forehead, if you wanna be exact. This is an EXW. Good old flashing wrestling. 
over on EXW. Titties galore, baby. And if you guys missed that show just about an hour ago, maybe two hours ago, you missed one hell of a show over there on the Elite Extreme Women's Channel. Susie the Elf put on a great show. You guys be sure to go check that out and subscribe to her channel so that way you don't miss a thing. Tyson Parker calling for it already. Boom! The kick of destiny. And we've got yet another fucking outside interference here. I swear I'm going to murder this bitch. And for the record, I'm talking about Frank. He's got to be hiring these fuckers to keep interfering. Boom! Tyson Parker has been taken out. Get that queer out of here. Cover. One. Two. And Tyson Parker manages to get his shoulder up before the three count. Scuzz getting these fans rallied behind him. And they're giving him all the love. Got him, carries him to the corner, smashes him, and tosses him like a used condom. Griff says his protege once again showed why she is the hottest up-and-coming female acquisition on any roster. I cannot disagree. That was a hell of an elimination chamber match. If Ebony didn't win, I would have been incredibly upset. That was my backup pick behind the ladies of BYC every time. Since Evie got put out, it had to be Ed Bonnie. Back elbows from Tyson Parker. There is no need to rush. Sinful one. I'm going to be doing this stream for at least an hour, so you've got plenty of time. Scuzz tried his damnedest to get out of the way of that crossbody, but no avail. Hey, man, I can't lie. Watching Ann Bonnie wrestle is exhilarating. I love watching her drop the anchor. One and just a one count because that fucking ref was too slow to get in position. I'm going to fire that bitch. Oh, whoa, what height on that elbow? Damn, that man got jumps. Is he wearing Jordans? He got to be wearing Jordans. Them boots better be Jordan. Don't lie to me, Tyson Parker. I know. I know. Got him up and counter. Keep that keg on the shelf, Tyson Parker says. Is he DDT scuzz with authority? And there's that elbow once again showing the world I can leap. I believe I can fly. That's going to be Tyson Parker's theme song from here on out. The height, the elevation that this man can get from standing is incredible. This guy is now looking to take full control of this matchup. He's calling for it one more time. Keg Slam connects this time. All right. Yeah, let's let him get back up. What the fuck? All right, there he goes, guys. Instead of trying to kick him in the spine on some weird shit. Penny drop a power bomb. Cover. One. Two, uh, three, and this time it is Scuzz picking up the first pinfall just inside the nine minute mark. But oh my god, that kick of destiny comes out of nowhere. Can Tyson Parker even the score? One, two, uh, three, we are tied up already. These two men looking to bring that Lionheart Championship home. 
They are going to battle it out like gladiators right here in this ring. And I am damn proud to be the one hosting this contest right now. Scuzz powering out of that grasp using those elbows to break the hold. Tyson Parker using his agility to counter and a reverse DDT. Watch your mouth, Ed Ritter. Don't talk bad about my Steelers, bro. Welcome to the show. He's calling for it yet again. Boom! The kick of destiny connects. Protect your neck. Which one are you, Ed Ritter? You're agony, right? Cover one, two, uh, and Scuzz kicking out just before the count of three. <laughs> Whoa there, Mr. Ritter. Kick to the side of the head. And Tyson Parker rolling outside of the ring looking to catch a break. Which reminds me, this match is sponsored by Kit Kat. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that rope right there. Hot shot. One, two, and Scuzz powering out. Browns fan, out. I feel sorry for you. Damn, somebody got timed out already? Yikes. Scuzz has him up. And another DDT. What a counter there from Tyson Parker. He is on his toes. Womp, womp, womp. Armbar expertly applied and Scuzz taps out. He is now one down. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not the sound effect you were looking for, but it worked. Kick of destiny. Damn it, Scuzz. Protect your neck. You know Tyson's Parker, Tyson Parker's mama said knock you out. Tyson's Parker, really? Score is two to one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was for the Browns fans, so that was exactly the right sound. <laughs> He's going for that keg slam again, but the agility of Tyson Parker just too much. He's got that rear chin lock locked in, and Scuzz quickly getting to his feet to break the hold. Irish whipping him into the corner is Tyson Parker. Scuzz getting out of harm's way. He's got him up. No! A counter from Tyson Parker. Man, Tyson Parker did his research for this match. Subscribe to me, says DJ Cash Money 45. No! He's got him up. And slams him down hard. A daughter who likes the Bears, one who likes the Packers, a son who likes the Colts, one that likes the Vikings, and your wife is a Cowboys fan. Yikes, man, your family's conflicted in, when it comes to the NFL. I'm just kidding. One, two, and a kick out. And for one, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you straight up, it'll be better for you to not try to make yourself look like somebody that already exists because the closer you are to an actual wrestler, the least likely I am going to be inclined to use you. 
Guys picking up a two two count there. And grazing Tyson Parker with that elbow drop. We've got blood. Scuzz has been busted wide open. Bust it, bust it. Look at the power on Tyson Parker. Throwing the bigger man around like he's nothing. He's got him up again, and there it is, that Death Valley driver. Cover. One, two. Uh, Super kick. He damn right, Griff Tans Harper is the syndicate's young buck. The super kick machine. Bang, there is the kick of destiny one more time cover one two and starts powering out all the fight in the world reserved for scuzz he just can't seem to fight his way back into this match the score is still two to one unless i missed a pinfall somewhere but i don't think i did Oh, Scuzz finally looking to get back into this match, but Tyson Parker just too quick. Counter. Stumping away at him while he's in that corner. Choking him with the knees. Or rather, knee, because it was just one. You know what time it is, ladies and germs. It's penny dropper time. Ha, 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 ha. Cover. One, two, uh, no, only a two count. Scuzz was looking to tie things up here, but Tyson Parker's just a little too resilient. Slides off of his shoulder and a reverse DDT. He could be looking to put the nail in the coffin right here. Russian leg sweep. Slamming him down to the mat hard. One, two, and Scuzz kicking out. We've got 45 seconds left in this first round match. It's pretty safe to say that Tyson Parker will be advancing to the second round of this Lionheart tournament. But anything can happen, folks. Right back up to his feet. And no, he ducks the kick of destiny. Tyson Parker countering that keg slam. He has been on fire. All match long. But the fans giving him no love. And there it is, ladies and gents. Your winner is Tyson Parker. And he wasn't satisfied with that. He was just going to whoop the fuck out of Scuzz. The referee had to break him up. On fire! Well, Scuzz, a valiant effort on your part. You just didn't bring enough fight for the tenacious. Tyson Parker. That's right. Making the boys of the Steel City proud. Tyson Parker makes his way into the second round. Moving on. Up next. We've got promotion. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Malicious Intentions Wrestling is part of the Digital Wrestling Syndicate found here on YouTube. It is your corner to find that old school territorial feel with the wrestling world. And 
the godfather Pete Wall. You can find him over on Pillar to Post. He is the man responsible for the birth of this syndicate. He gives you Renegade Wrestling Organization some of the best action that you are going to find here on YouTube. That's my personal opinion. Don't take my opinion for it. Find his channel. Subscribe to his channel. Find out for yourself. You're going to love it. I assure you. Up next, we've got the Super Kick Machine. He has finally been cleared for action. Taking on the natural Jake Bagwell. I'm surprised he managed to get cleared after catching that ass whooping on leaning towards death just a couple days ago. I thought his injury was gonna get worse. Oh shit, I didn't know that Yeti was also alive. Run, run, run away, run away, baby. Before I super kick a you. Yep. Everybody has a hundred over raw. <laughs> Thought you might like that, Griff. Here we go. Tulsa, Oklahoma. God damn it, Frank! Making his way to the ring. From Las Vegas, Nevada. Representing the Blood Alley Coalition, the pretty boy of the BYC, he is Chance Harper, the internet sensation, the illustrious superkick machine. We're not in Tulsa, we're in St. Louis. That's just Frank back there fucking with the shit. He must want me to fire him. He desperately wants me to fire him. I am going to kick him in the tank. Uh, sinful one, you can either find it, like take a screenshot, upload it somewhere online, and post it in my discussions part on my YouTube channel, or you can find me on Skype. Or Facebook. Whatever floats your boat. Well, Griff, he should have paid attention. It was right there in the fine print. You guys know what time it is. Go ahead, Blaze. If they don't know, let them know. That's right. It is. Jake Bagwell. Hey, what the fuck are you looking at? Don't look at me like that. I'll come over there and slap the shit out of you. Yeah, that's what I thought. You better avert your eyes, bitch. It's Jake Bagwell and Trent's chat time. That's right. He's about to take 17 years to get to the ring. So while we wait for this slow motherfucker to make his way down to the match, you guys drop whatever the hell you want to in that chat, and I'm going to advertise it just like my boy Blaze McCoy does. My boy, Blaze McCoy. Or is that your boy? Well, it doesn't fucking matter either way it goes. Somebody's gonna get blazed. Speaking of blaze, you can catch him and Radio Rex Rapolsky over on Blazed Radio, where they bring you leaning towards death wrestling.
you know, we're all leaning towards death. It's just some are a little closer than others. You guys wake me up when he decides to finally step into the ring. All right, look here, you immortal bastard. Just because you can't die doesn't mean you're not leaning towards death. You are constantly putting yourself in situations where death should be an option, but it's only because you can't die. Fucker. And somebody... Get that Squirtle some milk. <laughs> Don't be jelly. Jake Bagwell finally making his way to the ring, getting in it, and the fans letting them know exactly what they think of him. 99% off. That's right. Squirtle Milk is on sale right now in the back for Tree Fitted. It's really terrible. I don't recommend it. I've never drunk it. I refuse to drink it. I'm not going to drink it. That shit's blue. Who the fuck drinks blue milk? What? I really hope Chance Harper kicks the shit out of Jake Bagwell just so that way we don't have to deal with his long-ass entrance for the rest of this tournament. God damn. Ring the bell, ref. And here we go. It's apparently got bits of shell in it. <laughs> I think they just took a squirtle and put it in a giant blender and that's how they made the milk. Oh, running him right into that shoulder. Working away at the leg. He's trying to take that shooting star press out of the equation. Also known as the three second upload. I love how he says claim like it might not be true. Big back elbow there to Chance Harper. And Jake Bagwell is naturally in control of this matchup. We've got a pinfall attempt here. One and just the one count as Chance Harper quickly kicks out of that. You got to do a bit more damage than that, Jake. Just don't go fondling the dangly bits. A knee to the abdomen. He's looking to do damage to those recently injured ribs. <laughs> well, is Jake really natural? Is Chance really illustrious? Well, the jury is still out. The Steel City Skeptic Man. Oh, look at that. Face first to that exposed steel. And making sure the malicious intentions fans can count to 10 is Jake Bagwell. We all know that Chance Harper can't count to 10. He dropped out in the third grade. He's got him up on those shoulders. Hot shot. And a wheel barrel into a neck breaker. The greatest tag team of all time. I'm gonna have to go with Blaze on that one and say the Road Warriors. A close second to me personally will be the New Age Outlaws because, man, did they have me hyped every time they came to the ring when I was growing up. Chance Harper now building up a head of steam for himself. But no, Jake Harper quickly cutting off his momentum. Snap suplex. I found a fossil on the ground once. Shut up, Rex.
Looking for that modified figure four is Jake Bagwell, and he's got it locked in. Chance Harper in so much pain and agony right now. You can totally tell he is suffering. There you go, Ed Ritter. You'll appreciate that. And a quick DDT. Looking to get the fans right behind him. Drop to hold from Jake Bagwell and Chance Harper rolling outside of the ring. Anthony Wright is not taken. LOL, Gris. <laughs> Chance Harper in a world of trouble. We might have to deal with more Jake Bagwell entrance chat time if this keeps up. Up to a six count, Jake Bagwell, get your ass in the ring and he knows what's best. Could he be looking for it again? No, I don't know if he knows what he's looking for, but who knows what goes on inside that man's brain. I can give you a guess, a lot of hot air. Chance Harper sliding right off of the back. And a neck breaker. The illustrious one absorbing the love from the fandom. Big back elbow. Double underhook. And tossing him overhead. We are 10 minutes left we have 10 minutes left and not a single win for either of these competitors that suplex into a stunner jake bagwell now just sitting there staring down at chance harper probably eyeballing his junk thinking oh i can't wait to grab a hold of that and there's that inverted figure four Will Chance tap out? And there he is, tapping out like a little old bitch. Score one for the natural. Kick to the spine. Or it was a little bit left, wide left, if you want to be accurate. But, you know, when it comes to accuracy, who's judging? Arm drag takedown. <laughs> Good point, Blaze. Working away on those legs again is Jake Bagwell. He's trying to make sure that inverted figure four does so much damage every time he applies it. Chance Harper is being used and abused in this matchup. There it is again, for the third time, the inverted figure four. And yet another tap out, Jake Bagwell, two to zero. Chance with the big back elbow. He's looking for it, the fandom is getting riled up. And no, Jake Bagwell silences the Chance Harper fans by getting out of harm's way. Clubbing away at that back now. Snap suplex. I would not disagree with that fucking gris. I am pretty sure Usain Bolt taps into the speed force as well. I'm going to have to have a word with Barry Allen to see if that's true. Breaking the back of Chance Harper. And a Russian leg sweep from the natural cover. Too close to the ropes. Chance's feet and hair were both underneath ropes. Jake catching his breath a bit. We are seven minutes left in this match.
big knee. And the counters are going back and forth here. Snapmare. There's that rear naked choke. Taking the stamina away from the natural. Draining his energy each time he wrenches back on that neck. Jake Bagwell fighting his way out of it. Snapmare of his own. And returning the favor. Two can play this game, says Jake Bagwell. Now it's Chance's turn to fight his way out of it. And he does just that. We have six minutes left in this match. Jake Bagwell out on the apron. Chance bringing him back in. What a suplex there. Cover. One. Just a one count for the super kick machine who has yet to use a super kick. Oh, there's Jake Bagwell gripping the testicles, squeezing the dangle. One, two, and Chance Harper kicks out. It was only a matter of time before we saw Jake Harper get a handful of man nuts. We knew it was coming. We saw him eyeballing Chance's penis earlier. Dropping that elbow right on the crown. Yes, She-Hulk. Chance losing right now is all your fault. You shouldn't have tased him. Backhead chop taking Chance Harper off his feet. Both of these men are exhausted. Belly to back suplex. Chance Harper going up top. Could it be? Yes, it is, ladies and gentlemen. The three second upload. One, two, and Jake Bagwell. No, man, we're having server issues. You can't connect, bro. Your upload didn't finish. Raking the eyes. The knee breaker. Woo! Hey, what's up, Yeti? Welcome to the show. You missed Scuzz getting kicked out of the tournament by Tyson Parker. You're just in time to watch Chance Harper get kicked out by the natural Jake Bagwell. All right, Ed, man, you have a good one. Thanks for joining us here, buddy. Chance Harper now basking in the love and adoration of his fans. And once again, Jake Bagwell has that death grip applied to the genitals of Chance Harper. Be careful with that squeeze. You don't want him to blow his load right in the palm of your hand. Snap suplex. And there's a fisherman's countering. Huge backbreaker to the natural Jake Bagwell. And he's sizing him up. The illustrious super kick connects. One, two, and Jake Bagwell kicks out. Just under two and a half minutes remaining in this matchup. Jake Bagwell is two scores up while Chance has yet to secure a fall. Slamming him into that turnbuckle and a running power slam.
Working on that arm now of Jake Bagwell's is Chance Harper. Irish whip into the corner. Back elbow. There's that vertical suplex into a stunner. Could this be the third fall for the natural? No, he doesn't even go for the cover attempt. Instead, he delivers yet another knee breaker. Thunderous impact on that elbow right to the heart of fucking Chance Harper. And another inverted figure four. Chance tapping out once again. That's the third time that he's been tapped out in this Iron Man match. He's going for it. And Jake Bagwell counters again. Man, sadistic intent has been telegraphing all of their moves here tonight. And with 30 seconds remaining on the clock, safe to say, Jake Bagwell advances to round two. He will be taking on the tenacious Tyson Parker. Break in the back. He's not done yet. He wants to try to make him tap out within the last 10 seconds. Can he get the job done? Oh, hell no. He's too slow, just like his entrance. The time is over. And he taps out as the fucking clock runs out. But it doesn't matter because the clock ran out. Chad Harper may have broken a leg or some shit. I saw him holding his legs before rolling outside of the ring. You just came back from an injury. Don't tell me you got another one. If you are enjoying the action thus far, leave me a like. Let me know it. I'm not going to know you like it unless you like it or tell me. But either way, new to the channel, want to see more, subscribe. And while you do it, make sure you go check out Lightning Strikes with my good buddy Cowboy John over on the Cowboy John YouTube channel. It brings you one hell of a show. And he's got assless chaps and cowboy hats for everybody that joins his shows. Up next. The devil himself I just spoke of. Cowboy John. And the werewolf. Silver Bullet. Both of these men have been mercilessly tearing through the competition here in Malicious Intentions Wrestling since signing their contracts. Which one of these two men will put a blemish on the other man's record? Only one of these two can remain undefeated here. I mean, granted, Cowboy John's only had two matches, but that's neither here nor there. Well, we are on a little bit of a delay. I'm going to tell you, talk to you or tell you about whichever one of those two words was going to try to come out of my mouth. 
about yet another digital wrestling syndicate promotion that you can find here on YouTube, and that is none other than my good buddy Mordrin Nightwalker's Sacrifice Championship Wrestling. You can find that on the Eternity Broadcast channel. He has not started that off yet. It will be debuting in the near future. Be sure to subscribe to his channel to stay updated on that because it is guaranteed to be. What the fuck do you mean we're... Frank, stop fucking with the locations, damn it. God. Oh, why haven't I killed that man yet? Anyway, it is guaranteed to be high-octane action out the gate. But making his way to the ring. Representing the messengers of fate. He is Silver Bullet. And you can bet he is looking to shit on his competition tonight. But the man that he is up against is into some kinky shit. So he might like that. Take your time, Zen, for one. I am in no rush. We've seen Silver Bullet take it out some big names here in MIW. Hell, he took out a few of the biggest men in the roster, or on the roster, in the locker room. However you want to word it, it doesn't fucking matter. That's how he got in this tournament. But his opponent is no slouch. That's right, ladies and fuckers. Make some noise. It's time. It's time. Oh, it's damn time for a stun gun pistol party. Yes, indeed, ladies and gents. It is Ashless Chaps and Cowboy Hats himself. My spurs only spin when you spank me, Cowboy John. And he hails from one of the Carolinas. I'm pretty sure it's the South Kakalaki. The fans showing him no love. But that's all right. Because Wyatt Sato has got all the love that his pappy needs. God damn it, John. Get in the ring. Don't be another Jake. One shot, one kill. <laughs> and starting things off here, Blaze. Not sure what one shot, one kill even means. While Cowboy John quickly goes to work on Silver Bullet. He's looking to load that stun gun up with a Silver Bullet to take out the werewolf for one shot and one kill.
clothesline, sending John crashing to the outside of the ring. DDT, quick counter. Silver Bullet showing John he was ready for this matchup. He's been studying his opponent. Sending Silver Bullet into those stairs now. Referee up to the count of six. Get your asses in the ring. Fireman's carry. The big right hand. Overhead at that. Irish whip into the corner and a big boot to the unsuspecting Silver Bullet. John follows it up with a knee breaker. Looking to show you, nothing beats the classics. Sleeper hold applied. You know, Yeti, I think he'd be a great addition here. You should upload him. Let me know the hashtags. I'd love to add another monster to the roster. One and only a one is Cowboy John. Quickly kicks out and rolls out of the way of that spinal tap. And just as quick, he counters. Choking him out with that rope. And it's all legal because this is malicious intentions. We don't play by the rules. We make our own. Kick to the gut and forearm to the back. Now he's stomping away at John, looking to damage that spine. Off the middle rope with a double axe handle and John rolls out of the way. Look at the disrespect on display. Get up, you little mutt. Get up. Cowboy John looking to take Silver Bullet back behind the woodshed. But Silver Bullet is not going for it. He's in full control of this matchup right now. We are four minutes into this match. Neither man has picked up a win. Sleeper hold applied. And a modified Russian leg sweep. Cover. Only a one count for Cowboy John. A big full Nelson slam from the werewolf. And here we go. One, two, and three. You're a Nike backbreakers from Silver Bullet. Soak it in the hatred from this crowd in attendance. Oh, 30 people. I know it looks like more, but it's not, trust me. Oh, talk about disrespect. He puts him down with a stun gun. Cowboy John not gonna stay down. He doesn't know when to die. Big counter, looking to build up some momentum here. Let me show you how it's done, says Cowboy John. Stun gun. One, two, and Silver Bullet kicking out just before the count of three. He's looking for it again. No! Telegraph that one. 
Running STO from the bullet. All right, Sinful, I'll take a look at him after this tournament wraps up. Uranagi backbreakers yet again from Silver Bullet. Shut up, Alexa. Nobody asked you. Stupid ass AI. Cover. One, two. Cowboy John powers out just before the count of three. WWE Money Boy, welcome to the show. Cowboy John taking the legs out from underneath the big man. A ka 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 and just a one count. A knee to the spy. Cowboy John looking to fly like an eagle. Diving elbow drop. And the mounted punches. I thought he was a sheriff, not a mounty. The Fez Press. Using that arm to take the cowboy down. Quick cover attempt one, two, and Cowboy John powers out. A kick to the spine. Going up to that middle rope. Double axe handle, smashing that face. And now he's got some punches of his own. Uranagi backbreaker, let's do it again. How about a trifecta? Cowboy John, quick to get back to his feet, avoiding that stump from the silver bullet. Oh, what a counter! Using silver bullet's momentum against him, he spins back down to his feet and delivers a DDT. And here we go, the Cowboy Stun Gun! Cover! One, two, and not a three count, but damn, was it close. Neither man able to pick up a pinfall yet. As we hit the six minute mark, there's another diving elbow from Cowboy John and a fist drop or fucking double axe handle rather off the ropes and an elbow right to the face. Right to the face. Iris whipping him into that corner. We've got blood. Silver bullet has him up, but Cowboy John counters with a face buster. One, two, and no, Cowboy John cannot get the job done. The blood dripping down his face into the eyes of Cowboy John. He's got that stun gun one more time. One, two, three. There is the first pinfall for Cowboy John. I disagree with that call, referee. But, hey, it is what it is. Silver Bullet was way too close to the ropes if you ask me. But I'm not the one officiating this match, am I? Belly to back suplex. He's going for it again. That triple Uranagi backbreaker. Backbreaker. 
elbow drop right into the sternum. He's calling for it. Big Axe Kick connects. Almost decapitating Cowboy John. One, two, no. Almost a three count, but Cowboy John, not knowing when to say die, kicks out. And it had to be purely on instinct because he is still out. And he throws Silver Bullet over his shoulder with the counter there. The fast press. Blood! Silver Bullet has been busted open. And you know John is loving the feeling of that warm blood on his knuckles. Stun gun yet again. One, two. Man, what a match. Just when you thought Scuzz and Tyson Parker couldn't be outdone, Cowboy John and Silver Bullet come out with the intent to steal the show. Just under three minutes here. Oh, Cowboy John counters. Looking to open up that wound even more with that big knee to the forehead. He's got him up. Inverted atomic drop. No, do more. You're not gonna get a one count from me, says Silver Bullet. We've seen this one quite a few times in this match already. The fans not too happy with it, but Silver Bullet could give a fuck. Trying to rally these fans behind him so he can even out the score. We are under two minutes. Cowboy John. No, no DDT. Sizing him up. Looking for that crucifix? Yes, he is. He's got him up. And there's the crucifixion of Cowboy John. One, two, three. We are all tied up. Just under a minute and a half to go. Propping him up against the ropes. Dropping him on the rope with that vertical suplex. Oh, slamming him down to the mat by the hair. Doesn't have very much to grab, but Silver Bullet made it work. Some people might call that move white noise. I like to call it the howling. One. I don't know what the fuck Alexa's in here talking about, but she's about to creep me the fuck out. She keeps coming out of nowhere talking. Why the fuck did Amazon have to come up with Alexa? And there is that fucking kick again. One, two, three. Silver Bullet pulls ahead with 20 seconds remaining in the match. Looking for that stun gun, but no. Big European uppercut. 10 seconds remain. This match is all but over. Cowboy John, a valiant effort by you. You held this match in your hand for the longest, but Silver Bullet stole it from you. My God, what a battle. Silver Bullet, his blood covered face. Now the damage retention for this tournament is turned on. So the second round is going to be interesting.
You never know who will pick up the win. Don't take too much of an ass whooping in that first round. Ah -ha, ah -ha, ah -ha, silver bullet. Ah -ha, ah -ha. And the final matchup in this first round. We've got one half of the tag team champions, the Sinister Saints. St. Peter taking on Dave Wall of Warrior Nation. Now this one just might be the match of the first round here. St. Peter has only lost one match since making his debut here in Malicious Intentions Wrestling. He was managed, or he has managed to be, be pinned in that match. But every other match he has been booked in, be it singles competition, be it tag, fatal four-way, triple threat, it doesn't fucking matter. Somebody got choked the fuck out. Now, will Dave Wall share that fate here tonight? Will he get choked the fuck out multiple times in this Iron Man match? Or will Dave drop the hammer on St. Peter to advance in the second round? Only one way to find out. While we wait for this match to start off, I'm going to go grab a drink. You guys sit tight. I'll be right back as I run to the concession stand. Yes, ladies and germs, making his way to the ring. From the wrong side of heaven or the righteous side of hell. I still don't know yet. Frank did not do his job and go ask the Sinister Saints where the fuck they're from. He's pissing me off. I swear to God, I'm going to kick him in the taint one of these days. You can see that Bloodlust Tag Team title around his waist. This man needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him one anyway because that's what I'm supposed to do. It's my damn job. He is St. Peter. And you know his tag team partner, Will Trauma, is in the back watching on the edge of his seat. Hoping his comrade can bring yet another title into their camp. This match and all the rest of them in this tournament is brought to you by Kindred Vines. where you can find the greatest assortment of wines. Life got you down? No use in crying about it. Get you some Kindred Vines. His opponent, representing the Warrior Nation, he 
is none other than Pete Wall's brother, Dave the Hammer Wall. Yeah, Yeti, uh, uh, I want it to be fair and give pretty much everybody an opportunity to qualify for the titles or for the tournament, but at the same time, I didn't want to put, well, I obviously didn't put any of the, the singles champions in the qualifying matches, which would be Blaze McCoy and Smoo. Neither of those two made it into the qualifier matches. I didn't want to put the number one contenders in them either, but... I was like, fuck it, why not? Give him a shot. Starting things off here, St. Peter taking control of the match quickly. But Dave Wall, we're not gonna let that stand for too much longer. Quick counter and a kick to the back of the leg. Vertical suplex. Iris whip. Going for that leaping clothesline, but Dave two steps ahead of him. Electric chair into a power bomb. Now these two men are both members of a team that has looked to dominate here in Malicious Intentions Wrestling since making their debuts. The Sinister Saints impressed me from day one and I said it thin, they were going to have the tag team titles around their waist and they did just that. They captured the titles and last night we watched them defend them. They will go into and come out of the tides of war as the tag team champions. Dave Wall missing that elbow drop. It's called high risk for a reason. They will not be defending their titles at the tides of war. That was the point of them defending them last night. Huge kick there to St. Peter from Dave Wall. But we will be naming new number one contenders for the tag team titles at the pay-per-view next week. Or rather, the alpha card next week. Gotta get used to saying that. I keep throwing that off. Wrenching away of that neck now is St. Peter, or as Yeti likes to call him, Salt Peter. Peter better not be salty. Get that man some kindred vines. And the way we are going to find new number one contenders is going to be a matchup that has not been done yet. At least. Not to my knowledge. I will tell you more about that as we go into the pay-per-view next week. For now, we are watching as Dave Wall looks to dominate St. Peter. And there's that modified neck breaker. One, two. Uh, Sin for one, in order for you to have Squirtle Milk as a sponsor here in MIW, you would have to negotiate a contract with me as Kindred did in order to get Kindred Vines as a sponsor, as you can see them advertised there in the arena. Working on that arm now is St. Peter. 
If, if you are new here and you have not gotten the opportunity to watch St. Peter at work, this man is very meticulous with his assault. He is incredibly calculated and he will not rest until he chokes you the fuck out. There's that Ulster Plantation from St. Peter. As I like, I have dubbed it the unholy sacrifice. He's got that hand up. You know what comes next, ladies and gentlemen. He's got that death grip around the throat of Dave Wall. But Dave, showing that warrior spirit and fights his way out of it. You guys might want to steer clear of the announce table if you get a little opportunity. I'm drinking a little bit of Malice's tea here, so there might be some madness ensuing later on. St. Peter in full control of this matchup, dropping the boot to the midsection. Got that claw locked on the shoulder of St. Peter. St. Peter gets out of it and sweep the leg. He must have studied at the Cobra Kai Dojo. Knee to the face, getting out of that corner is Dave Wall. Into another corner. You know what comes next. A whole lot of pain. The unholy sacrifice. One, two, and Dave kicks out. Yeah, Sam for one, we will not be having that as a sponsor here. I can deal with a lot of shit, but not some squirtle shit. No sir bob That's not my job. I don't do that. And a counter there by Dave Wall, avoiding that death grip of St. Peter. Getting the fans support now is Dave Wall, and he's right back on the attack. Sizing him up. What does he have in mind? I'll give you a hint. It's a fucking neck breaker. One, two. St. Peter getting that shoulder out. Shoulder up. Got him up, but no. St. Peter counters with a reverse DDT and a quick cover. One, two. Dave Wall powers out. Just under seven and a half minutes remaining. Neither man manages to pick up a score for their fucking self yet. Smacked my laptop with my phone. I don't give a damn. Let that motherfucker break. German suplex. Jesus Christ, look at the impact. Dropping him on his neck without a care in the world. He's got him up on those shoulders yet again. Ah, oh, man, Dave, you got to be tired of being used for the unholy sacrifice, man. Stay off of that altar. Get that wall some milk. That hand is going up. You know what comes next. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, St. Peter has that death grip applied. We've seen many a man. Oh, and there it is. He has choked him the fuck out to secure his first win. He's out of energy. Dave Wall capitalizes. Big kick to the midsection. Another one. And a short arm clothesline. No, I smacked my laptop with my bone-er. Two and 
St. Peter kicks out. Spinal tap. Dave Wall thinking high rent. Mm, don't get too lofty up there. And it pays off. Big elbow right to the heart of St. Peter. He might be looking to send him back to where he was cast out behind those pearly gates. There's a modified neck breaker. I'm gonna call it the drill bit because, well, you know, we're referring to Dave Wall's rectum as the toolbox, so why not? Two and kick out. We get blood boners around here. Sin for one, somebody gets busted open, the table rises. That's just how it goes. If only Pete Wall was here, he'd be so excited. Oh, there's a three count for Dave Wall. The score is all evened up. Reverse DDT, one step ahead of St. Peter. The tag team champion not faring too well right now in this singles competition as Dave Wall seems to have all of his tricks well scouted. Slams him up against the corner and tosses him aside like yesterday's newspaper. Dropping that knee right on the forehead, looking to bust him open. Will we have blood? Big forearm to the back. The drill bit. One more time. One, two. No, I thought that was a three count. Man, these guys know how to keep you on the edge of your seat. That is for damn sure. Dave Wall looking to get these fans rallying behind him. St. Peter showing he's still got some life left. The fans giving him a piece of his mind. And instead of capitalizing, he taunts in the corner. Clipping him with that forearm smash, but Dave Wall right back on the attack with that electric chair into a sit-out powerbomb. Be quiet. You know what's coming next. That neck breaker, ladies and gentlemen. Cover. One, two, three. Dave Wall is now two up. One down. Yes, I'm saying the score is two to one there. I just said it in a very, very intricate way. Oh! Super Plex! What an impact! I bet you can hear that Matt fucking probably echoing in the back. Oh, man! Fucking power! He's got him up. Looking for it for the 18th time in this match. Unholy sacrifice. Stumping at the face. Oh, a drive by knee right to the side of the head. And he's calling for it. Looking to make Dave Wall go night, night yet again. Can he do it? No, he cannot. Oh, punching away at him like a wild man and a modified hip toss to bring him out of the corner. We're just under a minute and a half and Dave Wall looking for that drill bit. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I smell a screw job. Fireman's carry. Quick counter there from St. Peter looking to even up the score. One. And Dave Wall powers out quickly.
What is St. Peter thinking here? He's going up top. Oh, and he misses that diving headbutt. It doesn't always pay when you go high rank. And that is why you get evicted. German suplex. Iris whipping him into the corner. Could he be looking for that unholy sacrifice again? It looks like he is, but we've got just under 30 seconds. If you're going to do something, St. Peter, make it quick. Unholy sacrifice. Leaving Dave Wall lying at the altar of sin. We've got under 10 seconds remaining here. Dave Wall knows he's won, so he's just going to pander to the fans a bit. And there you have it. Dave Wall advances to the second round of this tournament. Well, folks. They had a show just a little earlier, and if you missed it, you missed a treat. Yes, I've mentioned it earlier. I'm going to mention it again. It is Elite Extreme Women. You can find that on the Elite Extreme Women channel here on YouTube, hosted by Back to Basics' very own Susie the Elf. All women. The only time you'll see a man in that ma in that company is if they're accompanying someone to the ring so much milk cake and pie I love that place I I wish Thanksgiving was coming back around already just so that way I can say I'm thankful for Evie or Elfie for making this company oh yes good Lord hallelujah but let's go ahead and get started into this second round of this tournament shall we that's right. The tenacious Tyson Parker and the natural Jake Bagwell kicking off round two of this tournament. Now, I'm going to be completely unbiased when I say that I am going to be 100% biased in this match. Tyson Parker, break this motherfucker's neck. Kick his ass out this tournament. Give him a concussion. He ain't getting no milk afterwards. Fuck. Can someone make Jake the next Daniel Bryan? Put that man on the shelf. Coming out for the second time tonight. You know it. You know it. Let the rhythm hit him, Tyson. Show him all of that Steel City pride. The tenacious Tyson Parker getting this crowd fired up before they go right back to sleep after waiting on Jake Bagwell to take three hours to get to the ring. We've got a sold out crowd here. 
in St. Louis, despite the fact that Frank keeps fucking changing the location on the screen, I'm gonna fucking chop him in the fucking throat and kick him in the tank, power drive his ass into a mother- Man, no, no, right, man, look, look, I'm, I'm, Woo-sa. I'm sorry you guys had to hear that. I'm just really tired of Frank and his bullshit. You know, I think I'm going to send Frank over to Blaze. Let him intern for leading towards death for a while. Take back while entrance. Chat time. Blaze McCoy has a hit with that. I just wanted to let him know that. That is the greatest shit in the world. Lord Amadeus, welcome to the show, buddy. Congratulations on capturing that Leaning Towards Death Championship. What a hell of a battle that was. I know you boys over in the Kindred celebrated that big win. Amadeus style. <laughs> the oversized covered couch toilet lowers and something smells like poo. Did he dookie on that thing? No, Blaze, that's just him. Everybody knows he's a piece of shit. You know, I talk a, a whole lot of, of crap about Jake Bagwell, pun intended, but that guy is one of the coolest people that you can meet. Oh shit, Jake Bagwell's finally in the ring. I dozed out for a second. I apologize. <laughs> Bell has rung and this match is now underway. Austin Steen of the Steen Brothers, welcome to the show. Jake Bagwell was starting out in control, but Tenacious Tyson Parker, nope, there we go. The, the pendulum is right back here, folks. Back and forth, back and forth. There's that Olympic Slam. Fuck his arm up. That's right, Tyson. Make the Steel City proud and get rid of this douchebag. Hey, Sinful, you're on the wrong account there, buddy. Oh, and gripping the nuts already is Jake Bagwell. Both blaze, you and me both. I'm gonna let you make the, the executive decision there.
personally, I'm a bit amused. It's funny. Tyson Parker in full control of this match. Oh, dodging that spear. Tyson Parker throws himself out of the ring here. Mr. Actual sounds very dangerous. I think I might want to employ him here now. Who the fuck is calling me? I don't know nobody in Delaware. Della better be wearing nothing when I call her ass later. I'll tell you that. The referee has been taken out. <laughs> Della! Oh, Tyson Parker sending the natural to the outside. Get your ass up. Protect your neck, cause I'm a coming. Huge moon salt. For one, I'm gonna ask you not to post things that nobody in this chat cares about. We don't care. Double under underhook suplex there from the natural Jake Bagwell. I'll tell you his birthday. It was the day that he came out of his mom's vagina. And I'm pretty sure on that day he was kind of scratched up and had some scars because that shit was crusty. Big elbow to the top of the chrome dome of Tyson Parker. Jake, not too fond of Tyson Parker accepting or rather basking in the glow of the fans. Pete, what's going on? This is the first match of the second round. The Godfather has joined us. Tyson Parker looking to maintain control of this matchup. Jake Bagwell trying to get the momentum swinging right back his way. Big chin crusher, jawbreaker, whichever you want to call it. It doesn't matter. Tyson Parker felt all of it. One. And only a one count as fucking Jake Bagwell powers out of that pin attempt from Tyson Parker. He's got him up on his shoulders and slams him down hard. Inverted wasteland. That's what I'm going to call it. Hey, Sinful One, you want to see a good prank? I'll show you the best one you could possibly find. You want a good prank in for one? Oh, Tyson Parker. Two. Oh, and fucking Jake Bagwell kicks out. I was sure that was going to be a three count. Yeah, that was hilarious as fuck. Just a word of advice in for one, never say the same thing 
when you first appear in the chat. Hi, Blaze. Hi, Rex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, while you go do that, we're going to go back to enjoying our action here. Without you for 300 seconds. I politely asked you to stop posting things that nobody here cares about. We don't give a damn if you go change his Facebook. Keep that shit to yourself. Come on back with that friends page so I can ban him. Jake Bagwell now in full control of this matchup. There's the wheelbarrow into a neck breaker. Don't I wish, Blaze. Don't I wish. There's a three count for Jake Bagwell securing his first pinfall here in this second round matchup. Doing pretty good, Pete. There's a three fall for three count for Tyson Parker picking up a pinfall. There you go. Right on time. Hello and goodbye. Stupid fuck. Inverted figure four applied and Tyson Parker able to withstand it. Yep, sinful's out. After your five minutes are up, we'll see you here on your sinful account. Hopefully then you'll understand what it means to not post things nobody here cares about. There it is again. Will Tyson tap out? No. He fights his way out of it, showing that leg strength. I'm really hoping he does, Pete. I was hoping Chance would have kicked him out in the first round, but Chance didn't stand a chance. We are all tied up. One, uh, one to one. Tyson looking for some springboard action here. You know, Blaze, I was actually going to get him way back with the Squirtle Milk sh shit, but I was like, you know, I'll be nice. Give him a little lenience here this time around. See how long he keeps up with the bullshit. Arm drag takedown from Jake Bagwell. The Natural looking to be the first one to move into the finals. Too quick for that kick of destiny. There's that jawbreaker. Cover. One. And Jake Bagwell powers out. I agree with you completely, Blaze. That was a bit morbid. I had watched my own funeral before I sent him through another Baggy's entrance. You know, I share your sentiments there because I'd probably die watching him make his entrance. 
And it, it'll be natural causes, old age and everything. I'm 27. By the time we got to the ring, I'd die at 94. <laughs> Sometimes morbidity needs to be cast before the bullshit. And we've got blood, ladies and gentlemen. Jake Bagwell's face busted wide open on that turnbuckle. The score is still tied up one to one. We are approaching the two minute marker here in this match. One, two, Three, Jake Bagwell has edged ahead of Tyson Parker. Pretty sure that's not the first time Jake Bagwell has edged ahead, if you know what I mean. Whoop. Tyson Parker now looking to build up some momentum. Cover. One, two, and a kick out before three. <laughs> Could it be the kick of destiny? I hope that son of a bitch has a fucking concussion or something. One, two, Three, it is all tied up. Blood! Hainer Fundora, welcome to the show. No habla espanol. Poquito. Poquito espanol, no lie. Whack a little lower. Wrong head, Shulky. Score is all tied up at two. And we are at 30 seconds. We need another pinfall here from Tyson Parker. Get the job done, boy. Ten seconds remaining. Pin his ass, Tyson. Pin him now. And we have a draw, ladies and gentlemen. have to end this stream a little early we'll find out as the time approaches but I have to go pick up my mom in about an hour so we'll see what happens there right this is the second rematch for Tyson Parker he's literally the only one to have draws in this tournament God damn it, Tyson, why can't you get the job done? First Scuzz, and now Jake. There was a counter from Tyson Parker. Are we back to the pendulum effect? He's the only one wearing draws. That's gross. Shut up, Rex. He'll be pissing blood, Parker.
counter after counter. Tyson Parker now controlling those luxuriously false blonde locks of the natural Jake Bagwell. He wasn't talking to you, sinful. Never know, haven't checked his draws. <laughs> Stalin suplex here from Tyson Parker. That power on display. He's got him up and slams him down with authority. Cover. One, two, and Jake kicks out. Calling for it. Here it comes, and Jake steps out of the way, ducking under the kick of destiny, going to work on the legs of Tyson Parker, looking to make that inverted figure four more effective. Speak of it, and here it comes. Will Tyson Parker tap out? No, the referee declares he's too close to the ropes. Cover, one, two, and Tyson Parker kicks out. Are you sure you mean high school there, Sinful? Because you seem too much of a pup to be hanging out with the big dogs here at the MIW Lionheart Tournament. Now don't get me wrong, I enjoy some trolling myself. I do a heavy dose of it. But I wouldn't classify what you're doing as trolling, buddy. I just call it being a child. Jake Bagwell, stop going for the balls. Single leg Boston Crab and Jake Bagwell showing he has no ring awareness, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. You've seen that seeing is believing. Your ears and your eyes will be bleeding. Will Barrel Neckbreaker connects. One, two, and Tyson powers out. Raven, how you doing, love? And again, Tyson Parker panders to the crowd at the wrong time. And here he comes, building up a head of steam. Tyson Parker is on fire! Double underhook. You see, here in MIW, we be fucking bitches whooping ass, drinking beer, and eating our pies raw. This is the big dog's table. Back to the sandbox. Back of the bus. And back to the sandbox with your sorry ass. He was making reference to my comment about his name on uh, the show last night. Elfie, welcome to the show. Uh, little springboard action there from Tyson Parker. 
Oh, yes. Now, Sinful One, you might, might definitely want to be on your best behavior. The mod with a trigger finger has arrived. She will not hesitate to get rid of you. <laughs> Blaze, that was good. <laughs> Jake Bagwell taking control of the matchup. Yes, Elfie, that show earlier was incredible. Arm bar applied. Will Jake tap? No, he doesn't. The kick of destiny. Pinfall here from Tyson Parker. One, two, nope, kicks out. We're going to put you right back in timeout, and that will be your last warning, sir. Hot shot from Jake Bagwell and strutting his stuff. The arrogant prick letting everybody know exactly how he feels right now. Vertical suplex into the stunner. Raven loves timeout. I'm going to put her in timeout. Let her go get some cookies and hot chocolate. Cookies, cream cakes, hot chocolate, pies, everything you could ever want. Enjoy your timeout, Raven. Double underhook. Suplex. Could be aces, could be spades. Only I shall know. As long as you're not eights, Pete. Be aces, just don't be eight. Don't dare me, Raven. You know I would do it. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, though, I'm too far away from my computer and I don't feel like pulling YouTube up on my phone, so you're lucky. Two count there for Jake Bagwell. We're going to put Blaze and Raven in timeout together so only they know what happens during sexy timeout. Just don't be surprised if Blaze comes back with no pants and Raven's hair is all messed up. <laughs> and inverted figure four makes Tyson Parker tap out. <laughs> we'll see you in five minutes Raven <laughs> arm bar applied tap out damn it And Jake fighting out of that arm bar. Oh, what a bloody wanker. Tyson Parker. The kick of destiny. Pin his ass. Pin him now. 
One, two. God damn it, Jake Bagwell, stay down. We don't want to deal with your long ass entrances anymore. What's Jake got in mind here? Could it be that inverted figure four? It's going to be counter. That's what it's going to be. Oh, speaking of counters, Jake Bagwell with that kick to the head. And speaking of heads, he's got a handful of the one that's not on Tyson's shoulder. What a dick. Only a dick would grab a dick. Oh, one, two. Bridging that Northern Light suplex trying to pick up a quick pin. He's signaling it. The shining spotlight calls for it and the kick of destiny shows ascension and... Tyson's future. One, two. God damn it, Jake. Why won't this bastard stay down? Short arm clothesline. I will not be intimidated, Elfie. Snap suplex onto Tyson Parker. Jake Bagwell is trying to build back up his momentum. Which one of these two men will be advancing into the finals? There's another submission. Jake Bagwell looks like he's going to be advancing to the finals here. Unfortunately for us all. One, two, uh... Good call there, Pete. I gave him a few opportunities. He refused to comply. Tyson Parker picking up a pinfall. And we've got blood. Jake Bagwell. Moving on to the next round. The semifinals. Maybe the finals. Hell if I know, I'm not paying attention. His long ass entrances have me completely thrown off. I'm back, be right back, I'm back, be right back, I'm back, be right back. This is my friend's account, but I'm logged on to it and I talked to myself, but didn't mean to. I even responded to myself on the wrong account, but I didn't mean to. Yeah. No. How do I like you now, Jake? I would like you a hell of a lot more if you didn't take 18 years to get to the damn ring. All right, we probably got time for one more match. And then I'm going to have to go pick up my mom, so we'll have to pick things up afterwards. Up next, we've got 
the werewolf silver bullet taking on warrior nations dave wall Bagwell, if I were you, I would not be too proud of that win. You had to have a rematch with him just to pick it up. You couldn't get the job done the first time. We watched these two men very handily defeat their opponents in the first round. Only one of these two guys can advance into the finals to face Jake Bagwell for the titles. Raven blame that on sinful one. Chances are he took all of that hot chocolate and replaced it with shit. Raven had to straighten her hair after being in the timeout room with Sinful One. I think that Squirtle gave her a water gun. Ah, skeet skeet. Making his way to the ring for the second time. Representing the messengers of fate. MIW's resident werewolf, Silver Bullet. That's right, Blaze. From the window to the wall, to the wall. Let the sweat drip down your balls. <laughs> This is why I love you guys. To all my overballs. <laughs> I might actually have to like write all of that down separately and actually record that. Send it to Mark. Let him use it for MPW. Speaking of the walls, representing Warrior Nation, Dave the Hammer Wall. Turns out to butt. out your butt Sam Cushing how you doing the bell has rung and this match is underway
Dave Wall in full control of this matchup. <laughs> Turn your ass around and everybody squat. Turns out to butt. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I officially just ruined that song for myself right there, Blaze. Silver bullet raking the eyes of Dave Wall. That is a good question, Pete. Fire out your ass and everybody ducks. Turns out your butt. Clubbing away at the chest of Dave Waugh is Silver Bullet. Raven saying she is willing to produce to try that werewolf mud. She is going to rub all of that crap all over her face. <laughs> Not everyone can be good looking, sexy, and all natural. Chance has to agree, Jake. Unfortunately for you, Jake, Chance is the only one that statement can apply to. We all know. That you're not all natural. Big red hair from Dave Wall. I almost called him Jake Bagwell. Goddamn. Snapmare takedown. And a big headbutt from Silver Bullet. Sitting in my porcelain chair. Nasty smells fill the air. Stomach hurts, but I don't care. Did I eat at all today? <laughs> what did I eat all today? I can't read. Dream all! Dream all! Dream all! The referee is now up to a four count. That does sound like a country song. He's got him up. And the howling connects. One, two, uh, Dave Waugh kicking out. Silver Bullet looking for that big X kick, and there it is. Dave Waugh has been busted wide open. Chance, don't even try, because you can't compare it to the natural one. All this twisted steel and sex appeal. The million dollar body. The six pack abs are sexy. All right, man, you know what? I'm going to murder these fuckers. God damn it, Frank. Stop bringing in these WWE assholes. Silver Bullet capitalizing on the distraction. And there's the axe kick again. One, two, uh, 
three, Silver Bullet scores a pinfall. Just under 10 minutes. Jake, you delusional halfway. You know, I am completely surprised by the fact that Silver Bullet is in full control of this match right now, considering the ass whooping he took in the first round. That was a very brutal matchup. One, and Dave Wall powers out. Junior, I am not gonna call you that, say your last name, whatever, fuck it. I'm not gonna butcher that shit. Welcome to the show. And here we go. Triple Yuranagi back break us. And the axe kick connects for the third time. Great ring awareness from Silver Bullet dragging Dave away from the ropes. One, two, three. There's a second pinfall for Silver Bullet. If he can score one more, this match just might be out of reach for Dave. A big right hand sending Silver Bullet sprawling to the ground Irish whip sending him back into oh face first to the apron and a huge knee lift right into the face yes it would be very sinful if that was sinful that was a terrible pun, but I loved it. Not gonna lie. Dry humor is great. What the fuck, Dash? Dave lining him up. You know what time it is. No, it's not. It's time for a clothesline. Sit that ass down. Could it be? Dave Wall being nailed to the cross. The crucifixion has hit. One, two, Three, there is the third fucking pinfall for Silver Bullet. We've still got six minutes here in this match. Dave Wall could get back into it, but we will only be able to know for sure by watching this match. Dave, using that agility to get out of that grab and a Russian leg sweep. I agree, Pete. He definitely needs his jaw broken again. I would love to see Silver Bullet go out there and hit him with that axe kick just for coming out. But it's helping him get the win, so I doubt he will. One. Two, and Dave kicks out on that warrior instinct alone. Club and blow to the side of the face and a kick to the spine. Yuranagi backbreaker. We see yet another one. Going for the trifecta and oh, somebody get that man a chiropractor. Where's Mark Bisma when you need it? Dave Waugh needs some milk. He has been crucified for the second time. Could this be pinfall number four? 
One, two, three. This match is all but over, ladies and gentlemen. The score is four to zero. Dave Wall being taken advantage of. And the blame lies at the feet of Dash fucking Wilder. Silver Bullet propping him up on that top turnbuckle. Dave. Going for a double axe handle, but Silver Bullet catches him. And a big backbreaker. Tyler Black, what's going on? Welcome to the show. I know you got in here earlier. I'm not sure if you sat in the background just watching, but hey, either way. Cover. One, two, Dave powers out. Adam Guerin, welcome to the show, my friend. <laughs> yes, more large men in spandex destroying each other for my pleasure and study. I mean, hello, fellows. That triple Uranagi backbreaker once again, and just like before, the fans are not happy with seeing it used so often. A two count and Dave Wall powers out. The blood running down the sides of his face, staining that malicious intentions ring. There's the axe kick again. Good God. Somebody get that man some milk. Two three and a fifth pinfall here this is just embarrassing Dave put up a fight he must have heard me slap in the taste out of silver bullets mouth and a neck breaker one two not enough to keep the big man down Dave, the toolbox. Off the ropes. Why did he do that? That was just fucking stupid. Congratulations, She-Hulk chick. Hopefully that's not too many. I've got three. From my sister, anyway. My brother's got, like, eight fucking kids. Jake Bagwell, my underwear costs more than all of y'all's houses put together. <laughs> well, that is financial irresponsibility if I've ever seen it. <laughs> Expensive underwear for a tiny package. Hey Propping him up on that top turnbuckle. And once again, kicked. Big elbow to the top of the head, but unfortunately, he missed. Sorta. Just under a minute remaining here in this matchup, and Dave Wall still hasn't picked up a point. One, two, Dave trying his hardest, but it's just not enough. He has yet to hit what I've called the drill bit. And as I say it, here it comes, the drill bit. And that's why the ladies all walk away from you, man. 
They be seeing fake Jake for all he is. Tiny niblets. Oh, almost a sixth pinfall there for Silver Bullet, but Dave Wall manages to kick out, and this one is over, ladies and gentlemen. Silver Bullet advances into the finals to face Jake Bagwell. One of those two men will be the first Lionheart champion. Fuck you, Dash Wilder. Get the hell out of my ring. I'm definitely going to be sending Frank the Intern off. Will he go to leaning towards death? Or will he go to the wasteland? The question will have an answer. But either way, Frank is going to learn how to do his damn job or get his ass whooped. Time is it 6.10? We can go ahead and finish this match out. I am going to skip the entrances though, just so that way we can get this shit done. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, damn near three hours later, and here we are in the final round of this Lionheart Championship Tournament. The quote-unquote natural Jake Bagwell and Silver Bullet, one of these two men will be the Lionheart champion. I just want to point out the irony that would be if the werewolf wins the Lionheart title. The difference between us, Jake, you go for the huge, thinking it's classy, while I go for actual women who can handle a true man, a real champion, and provide nothing short of a gold standard. <laughs> we all know you go back to your hotel room and you do the five finger shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> I do the five knuckles before pig fucking brah. That would be animalistic. Blaze with the scorcher. Brother, you wish in your wildest dreams to be half the man that I am. Here we go. Pensacola, what? Fucking Frank! Ah! I am going to strangle that bitch. <laughs> yes ladies and gentlemen that is what this is all for 
the Lionheart Championship. There is the bell, and this match is now underway. Welcome to the show, Brian Hilliburton. Just in time for the finals in this tournament. Big knee breaker from Jake Bagwell. Of course he's gonna be targeting the legs. That inverted figure four has been doing damage all tournament long. Big knee to the face, taking Jake Bagwell down. <laughs> Wake me when Jake stops talking. <laughs> Here lately, all I've seen is fool's gold from the standard. One, not, not even a one count. Silver bullet powers out. Backhand chop, knocking him off his feet before he could even get back to him. Ain't that a bitch? Tyler Black, rooting for Silver Bullet here. Thank you, Adam Garing. Uh, it was a little bit more bland than that originally. I did a few modifications to it. Big knee to the face. He's got him up. And a power slam. Too close to the ropes for that submission hold to take effect. Slamming the back of the head into the mat. Looking to give Jake Bagwell a concussion. Looks like he was going for that Uranagi backbreaker triplicate combo. But Jake had that shit scouted. Clubbing away at the chest. And one more makes 10. Jake Bagwell looking like he does when he taunts. Fainting right off of that apron straight to the arena floor. Big head butt. And Silver Bullet is in complete control of this matchup. He's got him up on his shoulders. And bounces him right off the apron. Fool's go. Nah, we be the tag champs. Been the world champ and the bros the singles champ. I see nothing but gold, and that's the standard we set, says Pete Wall. And Silver Bullet staying in control of this match. Belly to belly suplex. We've seen it. He's calling for it. Ow, woo! That axe kick nearly taken off Jake Bagwell's head. One, two, and only a two count as Jake Bagwell gets his shoulder up. Lord Amadeus still proudly displaying that leaning towards death championship. Shot. Jake Bagwell trying to put an end to Silver Bullet's momentum, but the werewolf has him well scouted, and we've got blood. Two, 
Silver bullet now. You're a Nagi backbreaker. Don't stop there. Here's another one for you. Hey, wait. You know what? Let's just make it three. Why not? Pin him, goddammit. There we go. One. Two. Uh, no. Jake Bagwell still got some fight left in him. Silver Bullet looking a little bit frustrated. He's calling for it again. Bow! That man's head is in the front row somewhere. One, two. Jake Bagwell managing to kick out. How in the fuck is he able to do this right now? I mean, granted, we're not even six minutes into this match, but God damn, has he been taking a beating? So whoops the leg. And Jake Bagwell looking to get back into it. There's that vertical suplex into a stunner. Cover. One. And only a one count as that crimson mask continues to cover the face of the natural Jake Bagwell. Propping him up against the ropes. <laughs> and using the ropes to do more damage to the legs. Pete saying he heard Jake even has implants in his forehead. It must be how he can kick out after a boot to the face. Jake Bagwell stumping away at the mat. I don't think that's going to do too much fucking damage to your opponent, but whatever floats your boat. From the middle rope, double axe handle, looking to spread that wound open even more. What's it for the Yeti? One, two, and Jake Bagwell powering out. Breaking the face. Ah. Right to the eyes. And we've got blood, ladies and gentlemen. Squeezing away at the genitals is Jake Bagwell. Calculating. Considering his next move. He took too long. Silver Bullet is looking like he's ready to pounce. Jake with that knee breaker trying to keep the feet from underneath the werewolf. Pete, I went through uh, three of my kindred brothers, then five of LTD's best to win this title. You saw what I was willing to do to win it. Wait, I'm in a different page. There we go. What do you think I'm willing to do to keep it? Besides, last time we met one on one, I made you a tapity tap out. He says your hands was on Gregory Hines status. Got the tapping. One, two, uh, and only a two count. Jake Bagwell showing off his resilience here in this match. Silver Bullet full of frustration, making that wound open up even more. Triple Uranagi backbreaker once again, and as you can hear, the fans are getting real sick of that move. One, two, and Jake powers out. He's got to be running on empty at this point. That has to be completely nothing but instinct. Oh, sidestepping that kick and a big clothesline to the back of the head from Jake Bagwell. And instead of capitalizing, this fucking moron taunts in the corner. God damn it, one of you assholes get a fucking pinfall or a submission there already. Fuck. There's that vertical suplex into a stunner from the natural. I hear he calls that natural reflection. I'm going to call it shut the fuck up and sit down, Jake Bagwell. 
silver bullet wondering what do I have to do? God damn! Jake Bagwell shoving the werewolf off of him, but it doesn't stop the onslaught. Big belly to belly suplex. One, two, Jake Bagwell still not ready to stay down. We are just under five minutes remaining. Neither man having a victory to their belt yet. Going for that double underhook, but no. Silver Bullet saw it coming a mile away. Running STO, taking the natural off his feet. Driving that elbow right into the heart. He's got him up. You know what it is, ladies and gentlemen. The howling. Dropping him right on the back of that head of his. I hope it knocked a little bit of ego out of him. Or at least some of that hot air inside his fucking head. God damn. Counter. And the momentum just keeps shifting back and forth right now. Who will score the first pinfall? Jake Bagwell blocking that right hand and delivering one of his own. Following up with a kick to the midsection. A punch to the forehead. Working on that leg again. Could he be looking for that inverted figure four? No, he's looking to grab a handful of wolf nuts. God damn, Jake Bagwell, you done done a lot of nut fondling here in this tournament. I'm a little bit worried. Get that man an evaluation. Looking to score a quick pinfall with Jake Bagwell, but Silver Bullet. No, you're not gonna get me that easily. Catching the leg and sweeping the other one. And the Boston Crab applies. Jake crawling to the ropes, trying to save himself. Silver Bullet breaking the hold. Has the damage been done? It does not appear to be so. Jake strutting his stuff as if we're not under three minutes and he doesn't even have a fucking pinfall or a submission yet. What the fuck? Score a point, goddammit. I do not want another rematch. Choke slam from Silver Bullet. Johnny Gat, welcome to the show. <laughs> Quit grabbing penises. It's the Lionheart title, not the Turtle Head title. Second and a third. You're a Nike backbreaker. And if he does that shit again, I am pretty sure the fucking fans will start throwing trash in the ring. We are under two minutes. Silver Bullet lining him up. There's that big axe kick. His head sent flying way back to the cheap seats. Two, three. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first pinfall has finally been scored damn near 14 minutes later and another huge kick from silver bullet one two and no jake bagwell showing his resilience yet again he's not going for the back-to-back -back three count penis grabber <laughs> penis grabber <laughs> jake bagwell Shoving off Silver Bullet with his feet there and pandering to the fucking fans. Stop grabbing his dick, you fuck sock. <laughs> I thought they called those things flashlights. Vertical suplex into a stunner. Will he tie it up here? 40 seconds on the clock. Belly to back suplex. Double under hook. Oh, the suplex connects. 
Jake doesn't like the fans calling him a penis grabber. Well, maybe he should stop grabbing penises. The truth hurts, Jake Bagwell. 10 seconds on the clock. Going for that gut wrench, but no. Jake has it well scouted. Can he pick up a win in three seconds? I don't think so. You have it here, ladies and gentlemen. Silver Bullet is your inaugural Lionheart Champion. And that is how you end the tournament. Both men putting up one hell of a fight. The fact that it took that long for one fucking pinfall to be scored shows a testament to the will of these two combatants. And I am pretty damn sure we've got some injuries suffered in this tournament. God damn. In a very hard fought contest, Silver Bullet does the damn job. Blood, blood! Congratulations, Silver Bullet. You now have a target on your back. How many Iron Man matches can you win now that you are the Lionheart Champion? There you see it. He went through Cowboy John in the first round. Dave Wall in the semifinals. And you just watched him topple Jake Bagwell to win the belt. The Lionheart title is officially the Heart of a Wolf title. Pete says it's cheesy. You can be as cheesy as you want, Pete. Just get some kindred vines to accompany that. Those two men beat the hell out of each other in order to have a champion crowned. But Jake Bagwell, just like in that tag team championship, fell short and could not get the job done. Not yet, she hug chick. I've got to actually go pick up my mom. So I'm going to go take care of that. And then when I get back, I'll come back to a stream if nobody else has already started. And I'll show off Doll Baby's second attire. There you have it. I want to show you guys this real quick. Oh, went too far. Where'd it go? There we go. This matchup right here is going to be used to help figure out who will be the next tag team number one contenders. I've got one man representing each tag team here in Malicious Intentions Wrestling. Whichever team wins this match next week in the pay-per-view, their tag teams will be in a minor tournament until we have number one contenders. You see Scuzz from Sadistic Intent, Mark Bilsma from Warrior Nation, Mondo from the Towers of Pain, Lord Amadeus from the Entrepreneurs, Fred Starr from Bad Attitude, Lex Osborne from The Fallen, Silver Bullet, who's paired up with Sin here in Malicious Intentions, 
for the messengers of faith, fate, rather. And Chris King from the circle since, well, I didn't have another team. I really don't like booking Chris King in matches, but whatever, it is what it is. So next week when this pay-per-view goes live, this match is definitely one to watch. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is it for me for now. Thank you guys for joining me for this tournament. I will see you guys in a bit, about an hour or so, maybe, for a couple of extra matches. Going to show off the second attire for Doll Baby. Going to book Shino Malice in a match because I like watching him get his ass kicked. And then we might do a third match after that. You know what? No, there's no might. We're definitely going to do a third match after that. So fucking Dash Wilder could get his goddamn jaw broke. Fuck that bitch. But in the meantime, in between time, you work your thing, I'll work mine. I will catch you guys right back here on Anarchy Gaming for more Malicious Intentions Wrestling later. You motherfuckers have a good night.